So for this first part, head over into Adalo and you're going to want to create a new app. And for this one, we're going to create a native mobile app. Press next. We're going to use a blank template. Choose a primary and secondary color. Give it a name. Press create. Next, we're going to want to add in some basic components. So we're going to want to, first of all, display a list. And because we're working with what's going to be um, an Airtable base, we're going to want to use a custom list. So press the add button, scroll down, find lists, scroll down again, find custom list and then drag this onto the canvas, make it a little bit bigger, double click into a card, select the card and then make this item a bit bigger as well. Okay, let's change the name of the placeholders. We're going to want to have a name. We're going to want to have a bio. So There's going to be a list of members. And also we're going to want to have an image. So double click a card, sorry, select the list, find components, add component, image, click, and then drop onto your card, resize and drag into position. Okay. Now we have this, we're going to add an action and it's going to link to a new screen. It's going to be blank, but it's going to be, sorry, an app bar and it's going to be member profile, create screen. I'm just going to add some info in there as well. So we're going to go for an image in the middle of the screen. doesn't matter where the source is from yet. I'm going to add some text. This is going to be our name, name, and a bit of text by, and we're going to have a website. Okay. And then we're going to have the bio under here. Let's make the name a little bit bigger. Then finally, we're going to add a button. Okay. Remove the icon. We can call this update. Cool. Right, so this is going to form a, the basis of our app. Now we're going to want to go and connect our Airtable. To connect our Airtable, we go over here to the left and select Database from the left-hand menu. And under External Collections, select Add Collection. Give your collection a name. Now we need an API base URL. So you get this from Airtable. If you select your base, we've got some dummy data here of our MakerCloud members. In the top right, you see your profile picture. Select this and select account. Where it says API, select the link Airtable API. Scroll down and find the base you want to work with. This brings you to your API docs. On the left hand side, select users table or whatever table you want to work with and then list records. We're going to select the first part of this example request URL on the right hand side and select up to the end of where it says users. Copy this value and then paste it into the Airtable API base URL here within Adalo. Next, we need to add some headers. This is going to authorize us to be able to use our API. Click Add Item, click Header, back into our Airtable API doc. Underneath your URL, which we just selected, select Authorization, and then select the next part, which is Bearer, with your API key. We need to replace this with our actual API key. So I'm just going to drag this off the screen and select and insert my API key. Press Done. If you need to find your API key, you can either find it within your API document here by selecting Show API Key on the top right hand corner, or you can find it within your Airtable account settings here. If you double click this, it will reveal itself, so you can copy that in that way. Next, press Next within Adalo, and we can see all our endpoints here. Now, we want to actually change some of the settings, so with your top one, Get All, we need to go and add a key. So is the results array nested under some key? We see in here that it is. It's nested un under records. Back over into Adalo and we put records in the records key. Press done. Next we're going to want to update members. So we're going to change this setting. So rather than it being a put which destroys our current record, we want to change this to a patch. Press done and then we're good to go. Press next. Now we want to run the test to see if we can get our data. Okay, great. We have our member data. Press create collection and now we can use this data inside of our app. Now what we need to do is map this across. So we're going to start by selecting a list. This is now going to be a list of our MakerPad members. Press done. Now select the field you want to map. We're going to start by double clicking name. Make sure they are not overlapping each other. Select name. We're going to replace this name. Double click it. And Select this T, the red variable here, which lets you use information from your database. And we're going to set the current MakerPad member. Scroll down and find name. Again, do this for bio. And then the image. Image source is going to be a URL. And the URL, again, from the variable, it's going to be current MakerPad member. And then it's going to be the 
profile picture. This is where within Airtable we store our profile picture URLs. Okay, then we're going to want to select the list again and we're going to want to set a action which then links to the member profile which is our next screen here. So press done. If you haven't got that, press add an action link to the member profile. Next, we are now passing data from this screen through to this screen. So we need to map this information as well. Again, select the image. Image source is the URL. The variable here, current Makerpad member profile picture. It's name. We're going to add the user's website and the bio. Okay. Let's see if that works. If you haven't signed up, you may need to sign up. Okay, now we have some membership data in here, some bios, obviously some profiles are more complete than others. Um, ben Parker, let's select him. I'm sure you know Ben. Okay, now we have our image, our URL, and our bio. So this all comes from the API call, which then references the information in our Airtable.